Hi, I'm Chicky, and today on Rooster Hooch Presents, I'm going to teach you how to make spice cups or pinch cups out of old beer bottles. Spice cups are what you would use if you were going to put together um, all the spices that you needed for a recipe. You wanted to have everything pre-measured and put together before you ever started putting the uh, recipe together. And they work great for if you just need a pinch of something. If you're like me, you don't want to spend $28, $29 for 12 of these little things. So I found a way to make them myself out of old beer bottles. There's a couple of different beer bottles that you can use. Uh, I recommend the brown ones for some reason. Any of the green glass does not cut well. But be very careful that when you get a beer bottle, get one that the label doesn't come all the way down to the bottom because you cannot cut across the label. It's got to be something where you can cut underneath the label or you're going to have to remove the label. Now, I don't recommend or endorse any type of bottle cutter. Any type of bottle cutter you get, you're going to need to learn the ins and outs. Sorry, that's Lewis. The ins and outs of your particular bottle cutter. I like this kind because I can put the right pressure down and just spin the bottle. There are many other types of bottle cutters on the market. But you're going to have to figure out how to use the particular bottle, cu bottle cutter you have. The trick is you want to make a single score mark. When you get all the way around the bottle, you want to stop. Like I said, you don't want to go over the same line twice. Next, you're going to need the same three things that you needed for our video on kid-friendly bottle cutting. You're going to need a cup of almost boiling water or even boiling water. I took two and a half cups of water and put it in the microwave on high for five minutes. You can see the steam com coming off of it. The other thing you're going to need is a turkey baster and you're going to need cold running water. I suggest putting a towel in the sink so that when the bottle breaks and falls into the sink that it doesn't shatter. So first you're going to take your turkey baster, get some hot water, and just dribble the hot water on the score mark. Try not to get it anywhere else on the bottle. Try to keep it right on the score mark. I'm going to turn the bottle. What you want to do is stress the glass. And by getting it very hot, and then running the cold water over it, you're going to cause the glass to stress and it should break. Sometimes it takes more than one try, so we'll do it again, and the bottle falls off. The bottom falls off the bottle. Now, as you can see, this bottle broke pretty cleanly, but there's still a little bit of rough edge around here, and so you don't get cut. What you're going to need is a glass sanding block. It's got uh, basically diamond filings on it, and it's for grinding down glass. So you're going to take that. Sorry about the sound. Get all the roughness off. And then you've got a cup that you can run your finger all the way around. So now it's safe to use for cooking. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Please check out all of our other videos on YouTube and have a great day.